identical. Oh, this is gonna be All a right. core, I think. Unless if they play yeah. that core, but I don't think VP generally does that. So. Yeah, it's gonna be a BZ silencer, so definitely a core. Generally won't cut it against any hero he would have faced down here, I think, so. A little greedy, we'll get the Basilius now. Oh, top lane, disruptions come out, and the follow-up from the split earth will just connect. Edict damage now, somewhat being tanked by the creep wave, and yep, these creeps continuing really? to tank oh, it. Oh, no. Oh, they like to go. That was actually first blood. <laughs> yeah, for some reason. Increases. If they get killed by Reaper's side, for another Blink initiation on the G, the global is used, but not before the war champ on the G. Y'all will defensively disrupt it. Curse of the Silent Three, decent damage here, but not enough to finish off DD. As Sadoi charges in, but he's controlled by the shackles, finished off by the follow up from the Necrophos ultimate. That Necrophos is really shutting down these tanky cores. The Bristleback just is not feeling particularly durable. And now BZT, he gets blocked in by his own creep. How unfortunate for him. DD will be mecked as the killing blow from the tail. So I, I didn't actually read the notes for him, but oh, they're going to mid lane. Moonlight Shadow, two arrow stop. Big initiation from DD. Instantly, those two that he caught ball. And now they run on the G. Vernus Pro are getting overrun right now by OB. Yo will buy back. Will TP with a Soul Catcher and Purge. Trying to turn this fight a bit, but the Viper just keeps pushing in. G will end up surviving. Man, these sets are stocks have been huge. Another big one from DD. He delivers again. This guy was amazing on a Sankey last game. He's doing it again here on the Centaur. And Sedoi will bring down the Marana, actually managing to finish off the Centaur as well. VP, hang on. Shao it's still standing strong. No Viper strike, though. Can't really go too much further. Now it's disruption. On to Shao Eight, but he just turns and runs the other direction. And Yol will barely make his way up. Jeez. So, oh, wait a second, there's a stampede. Oh, oh, there you go, that's what it was for. Blink it onto John, he doesn't teleport out very quickly, but meanwhile, top lane, they've gone in on Joe, using this global, forcing back the rotation, preventing Joe from escaping. The wards get trapped, it's a full trap on G, but he'll just eat his way out of those wards, tank it out, but he's got to be up, so it doesn't affect him. The last trap was finally hunted down, but he's not that priority target. It's Joe who must be dealt with. Joe has his ultimate wave respawn. G's gonna jump on the trees. 820 will run him down on the support shaman. And now they jump in a bit further here. Silencer already used the double goal. It just isn't enough. Joe will get a secondary kill. And that means. That means a push. This might just be Rex. That'll be it. The Agonim's Necrophos does its work, Sid. You caught him, man. Blown up. Zidoy doing what he can, but he has to retreat in a moment. Jordan taking a lot of damage from Xiao as well. Actually dealing some damage here to Zidoy, but there we go. Bye bye. No bye bye. Oh! Those bye -bye. disruptions have been so much. I feel bad for y'all that it has missed, but they might lose a few at the well. The Centaur stop is not. It's gonna be Panther by DD, and I'll try to retreat out. No Stampede. Joe just standing and tanking through this fight, but he's, he's got no mana at this point. He could be in a bit of trouble. Arrow connecting long range on the Zidoy. Let the Fountain Farming continue. It's just pure auto attacks from Joe. And now we get the huge mana spike from that last hit. Turning on Eol. He's literally 1v3. Now finally his team will return into the fight. And Joe will just finish wiping the floor with BT. It's a wipe in the base. GG. Oh man. What a turn for the old boys. Yeah, looking rather spry. Really bad start as well. I want to I wanna point that out. How awful the, the really early game was for them, and they still managed to just get a little bit of farm, one turn around, and then suddenly they took complete control of the game. I think after the 10 minute, they won every single fight, or maybe 15, every single fight, every single exchange, they got Roshan's,